Hello everybody, Surf Putzel here. Today's video is about some reactions to the Rodney Sumter video, the guy who was a victim at the Orlando Pulse Club shooting. He made a video about his gunshot wounds to prove to Maddie D and other hoax tarts that the shooting was not a hoax. For normal persons is his video a proof that he got shot, but hoax tarts think of course different. Some of them simply say they are fake wounds and others try to say that they can't tell his wounds from fake wounds apart. Not that I expected any other reaction from these dumbasses. One of them is hoaxtart Benjamin Donkey. I had my experiences with this troll hoaxtart in the past. I even mentioned him in my rant about two flat earthers video. Now he's back with some really dumb shit. And of course he thinks that the Orlando Pulse Club shooting was a hoax. And he thinks that the wounds from Rodney are fake. He even made a video about that. In fact, in his videos, he just pointed out contradictions in different news articles regarding the details of what happened to Rodney. First of all, you will always have that news articles get details wrong. Every one of them try to print the story first. So there will always be mistakes. For example, if they ask witnesses to the event. That leads to many wrong details and even contradicting statements of witnesses. This can have many reasons. For example, one of them could suffer from partial amnesia after traumatic experiences and simply don't remember some parts of event but others do. Or another reason for these contradictions could be the so-called false memory syndrome, where people simply have wrong memories on events. The false memory syndrome is more than 100 years the subject of psychological research. I think especially hoax tarts should take a look into it, because it in fact shows that you will often have problems with reports from witnesses. That's all not automatically a sign for a hoax. I leave a few links to these topics in the description if anyone wants to read more about it. Whatever, let's take a look at some of Donkey Boy's comments, because he asked me a few questions. Where was Rodney in the bar when he got shot? Serving drinks behind the bar, in a different room than a shooter, outside the club, inside the club, running from the shooter, did Rodney need surgery to remove the bullet, was there an exit wound, wouldn't that mean his family's claim he needed to remove the bullet with surgery is not true? Surely these are simple questions that can easily be answered by someone who believes the story we've been told is true. Well, here comes what I found out about it. When the shooting started, Sumter was behind the bar when he heard what sounded like firecrackers. As soon as he realized what was going on, Sumter ducked behind the bar, where he was met by his bar bag and a few scared customers. For approximately 5 minutes, Sumter listened as the shooter calmly made his way through the dance floor. The shooting stopped momentarily as the gunman peeked behind the bar. But the second he saw bodies, he began pulling the trigger again. The first bullet had shattered Sumter's right arm. The second ripped through his left arm just above the elbow, exposing muscle and bone. The third, a direct hit, pierced his upper back. So Donkey Boy's questions where Rodney was and how he got shot in that angle is for me answered. He was ducking behind the bar. By the way, this information is pretty easy to get. It's all from a very detailed report about Rodney Sumter. And since his wounds match up the story and Rodney himself posted and recommended to read it, I think he confirms that this article is on point. I link it down below. And by the way, to the exit wound on his back, Rodney himself said that it is an exit wound. So Donkey Dumbass attack against controlled opposition and his video was completely pointless. If I got that right, he had a shrapnel removed from his back. So it is still an exit wound. If he was really shot, why he make a video trying to justify it to some YouTuber? It's not like Maddie D has a million subs. He simply made that video because Maddie D requested it from him, to prove that the shooting was real. There you have your reason why he made that video. I guess he noticed Maddie's videos about the shooting and wanted to show that Maddie is talking bullshit. If you would be in a situation like him, would you make a video to prove the fucktards wrong that slander your name? Would other hoaxtards do it? Donkey Boy isn't the only dumb hoaxtard. There are many of them. And I want to ask them one question. If you don't even believe that a shooting was real when a victim show you his wounds, what would be a proof that a shooting was real? 
I asked a lot of folks tarts, including Donkey Boy, this question, but I got not even one real answer. I think there's nothing what they would believe. They just say everything is fake. And they don't even see that this has nothing to do with any truth or truth seeking. They are so biased in their belief that everything is fake that they overlook evidence for the truth or simply declare them as part of the hoax. In their zeal to expose the lies of the world, they fail to see the truth. They only see the things that seem to prove their points and they get lost in irrelevant nonsense. They ask me to prove that an event is real, but if I ask them to prove that an event was a hoax, I get most of the time complete nonsense. Like we saw today in this video. And with that I end this video. As always, thanks for watching, bye bye and stay tuned.